everyone and welcome to this disused railway video. It's a bit of an explore this one. I'm over near Long Eaton and the vast and mighty Toton Yard and Depot and scattered around the outskirts of this operational depot. It was one of the biggest in Europe and it's still pretty big today although sadly not as busy as its heyday. Around the yard and the depot there are a few disused and abandoned sections. I'm going to come down and have a look and see if I can find any or how many I can find and then we'll take some photos and talk about it a little bit. So on the right hand side I've got the Aerowash Canal and the yard is on the left. The shed is about a quarter of a mile over there. We won't be going towards the shed because that's pretty much all open and as it was but down this end we've got a few bits including an old bridge, an embankment over there we've got the fauna yards and sidings and also the old wagon works was over there as well I believe this has been demolished but we'll find out so let's get ourselves to our first little bit roughly where the river Erewash passes beneath the railway So I'm going to start just beside where meadow sidings were and we're going to move slowly south along the perimeter of the yard. We're going to find what we can, an old viaduct, an old bridge, even the site of an old oil sidings. And then we're going to proceed to cross the active running lines by a, a footbridge, of course. You can just see that if we zoom in a little bit further exactly where we are. So that would be Toton Junction. We're then going to have a look at the site where the wagon works used to be before proceeding northerly along the edge of the yard through what was once the west yard sidings and up towards the new bank and the old bank. And taking a little look at this old aerial photograph from the 1930s I believe you can see meadow sidings on the left hand side look that's where we're going to begin today. The wagon works are banging the centre look just at the bottom and then we've got the sidings on the right hand side, the old west yard sidings and the new bank and old bank right at the very top and the old engine sheds are on the top left for you. So here's a view which was quite common when I was younger and there's a path just there look which is straight across which has been gated and there's no access anymore but back when I was a kid you used to be able to walk up here walk straight through there down the back end of the yard and I've got vivid memories of locos running around onto the fuel point just walking past it so they would about to go onto the fueling point and you could literally just walk past these locomotives that were shunting around at the back of the yard and no one used to say a thing it's scary now when you think about it so I'm going to head back down to the path what I was on before and crack on and have a look at some other things there's some old cabling down there look in the middle and down here I can see some old concrete lamps some lamp posts look here the bracket and the electrical point for the bulbs are still intact look very very old indeed they probably run all the way along here let's we'll see if we can find some more some kind of old bracket in there look must have been something to do with signalling that's laid down the side and another lamppost bracket just there look another lamppost there look as I'm about to cross over the river Aerial Wash which is just down here so here's a disused small viaduct would we call it a viaduct there's the river Aerial Wash look very very low at the moment I think we can get ourselves underneath it but yeah here we go look so that's a disused line which ran over the line which heads off towards Trent Junction and Ratcliffe Power Station which we'll get to see in a little while here we are on the other side look
not sure when that was took out of use, probably in the 70s or 1980s. And there's the abutment looking towards Toton Yard and Shed. I'm going to follow this worn down track a little, which I believe takes us to where the active line is. I mean, I will mention that we're going nowhere near any active lines today. We won't be crossing over any fences. So this is bridge TCC forward slash number seven. And again, you can see the river itself is very, very low, but it can in fact come all the way up. And you can see this one, this is a flood overflow up. And we're fortunate enough that the river is low today and we can walk along this part of the riverbed underneath and come out the other side. There we go. And that's as far as we're going to get. Look at that. That looks very old, doesn't it? And the one beyond that, I believe, was the old... That one there was the old access point for the wagon repair depot. I remember there used to be a shunter, a low eight shunt hanging about there. I could be wrong, it could be the next one down. We'll find out when we get up top. Right, so I'm going to get myself back underneath the railway and out the other side and see what we can find where we began just then. Right, so we're up top. On top of the small viaduct or bridge that's been abandoned for a few decades. There's the arrow wash down there, look. And there's that short arch that we've just walked underneath. And the wagon works used to be over there somewhere on the other side. Not sure how many tracks wide this was. It looks wide enough for about three, doesn't it? There's the arrow wash coming towards us just there. So depot, shed, locomotive works, uh, all in that direction. We're not going to go that way because that's going to take us towards active areas of the yard and we want to walk away from that and see what is inactive and what's out of use. So we'll have a wonder along this trodden down path, if we can, and if you spiky things to get by and see how far we can get right i think this has sadly beaten me what this was going to do was take us to an abandoned bridge crossed over the active line and headed off towards Beeson and nottingham it's not going to happen there's just too much look at that so i'll do I'll get back to where I just um, got on this piece of track bed at the viaduct and I'll take you down to where this came out at the other end. So there's the embankment that we just tried to walk along. There's a nice little culvert underneath there, look. Must take excess flood water through, or it used to. So we got about as far as here, I imagine. We've got to head that way and find the next bridge. So I've now double backed and I'm walking away from Long Eaton, Long Eaton Town just behind me and heading back towards Toton Yard and Shed. Look at that, there's another one of them lampposts present here. Look, I wonder how long ago they were taken out of use. Also, dead opposite, look, is this old air raid shelter. Completely steel fenced off, no access whatsoever. I think there was a second one further down and they probably joined each other on this side there used to be a small oil or fuel depot it was very very small i have vivid memories of it in the mid 90s the last time i saw anything working along there i'm looking for that other air aid shelter entrance just pop you over there look it's actually some disused rail in there look and there used to be those small double axle tanks that came in there if i remember not sure who ran it or operated it and what its purpose was. I 
believe I must have missed the other air raid shelter entrance. It's that overgrown in there and all this new fencing has been put up as well. So this is where those oil sidings through there used to run under the bridge. And this is the bridge we've come to look for. The bridge that crosses the active line. And if we went that way, it would take us to where we began the video on that viaduct and the track bed that I could not walk across or any further up. And these oil sidings used to come out of here and join on a little way beyond those trees just there. And we can see looking underneath it was in fact double track width. As we come around and look at the side wall abutment, absolutely no way up. It's all been recently fenced off again hasn't it so you can't get up there and you're not going to be able to get across the top anyway so there's little point in me even trying. So let's get ourselves up on the footbridge. We'll cross over the lines. There's seven or eight of them stretched across going in two different directions. And we'll see if we can see any remains of the old wagon works on the other side. A few moments ago, I showed you a culvert. And that is the other side of it, look. And it runs along there. And interestingly, I wonder what that is just there. Right about there, I can't. There's circling, it's like a manhole inspection pit. That's probably what that is. I've heard rumours that there is actually also an air raid shelter hanging around underneath all the undergrowth as well. That'd be pretty cool to find that, but there's little online about it, so it must be either virtually impossible to get to or non-existent. So here's the active lines, look, one, two, three, four, five, heading off towards Ratcliffe, and two further lines over there, which would also go off to Ratcliffe or off towards Beeson and Nottingham. So up on the footbridge you can get a better view of where we started and where we've got to. So we began our journey out of sight behind those trees. I got a little way up here, had to turn back because it was just too rough. We've come back down and come past the oil sidings and underneath this steel bridge just here, disused a long time ago. Now we're next to the five active lines and that is the view heading out towards Toton. So I'm going to get myself across the bridge, down the other side, and I shall see you there. Not sure this wormy guy is coming though. Can we stay in here? Yeah, okay, it's just me. Come on. So before this unsightly footbridge was put in, it replaced one of the more traditional lattice bridges. But that used to start around about here, where I'm stood, and there used to be another track just here, just down here. And this track used to head off towards what was the wagon repair depot over here. And it would have sat between, you could just make out the railings of an additional bridge section, not just there. It used to head on down there, where there's a shed around the back where that massive yard lamp is. We can't get anywhere near that and it looks like it's all sadly been demolished. But I'll try and find some photos and pop them on for you and see what they look like. I'm going to try and find a part of the abandoned yard now and see what remains in there. So another little look on the site of the former wagon repair depot. It's still used for network rail access by the looks of it. There's the old yellow barrier look it used to be used a long time ago. In the far distance, around about there, you can sadly see the demolished remains 
of part of the wagon repair depot. all super wide and abandoned over there that's where we just come from in the very very distance you might be able to see the steam from Ratcliffe on Saw power station just for reference as to where we are our railway lines are to the right and the village of Toton is to the left let's go and have an explore around this because there's got to be something laying around piles of sleepers ballast even a few yard lamps it's going to be great to try and find out isn't it This yard lamp, I mean, how high is that? 70, 80 feet? Just laying there dormant. It's probably even still got its fluorescent lighting in there. Most likely, obviously, it's going to be disconnected from the mains. There's a few more along here. I'm hoping to get all this done before it looks like it's going to rain. So let's see if we can find any more of those. The remains of something there, look. I'm not sure what that would have been. I'm pretty much dead centre of the upyard now. Some remains of ballast you can see in the dirt there, look. Over there is the yard fully in action. There's something going off over there. I think it's from that virtual ballast quarry thing of above, whatever it is. More ballast over there. No sign of any rails or sleepers or any other relics whatsoever. Just that lamp so far, but I'm keeping my eyes peeled. There could be anything laying. Hey, you know, what we got here? So is that an old fence post? It's a sleeper, isn't it? So there's an old sleeper. Just laying on its lonesome. Nothing else around it. Let's push on, see what else we can get. I'll get the drone up when I can. This ballast through here, it looks relatively untouched. There we go, look. So that's in pretty good nick, isn't it, that ballast? It's probably the best we've seen so far. So maybe these particular former lines that was here were most recently in use before the entire yard on this side closed. There's another sleeper just through there at the end of my finger. There must be all sorts buried under here, you know? old bits and pieces just reclaimed by nature and if you had the right tools or maybe even a metal detector maybe you'd find some astonishing stuff there's a whole horde of sleepers through here let's try and get through here we go look there's even still some in situ look there's two bits of trees actually growing out of the holes the rails will be fixed into. Let's find another one to get. Yeah, look. There and there, there's the holes for the, the track clips or whatever you call them to sit in. And two trees have actually grown out. Two saplings, look, have grown out of those two holes. There's another lineup of them here, look. But yeah, there's still some actually sat in their original locations. I'm thinking there's some more through here, if I look. Hard enough, yes. 
there we go. Why they laid in this direction, I don't know. And lined up like that, it's peculiar. Right, let's get back onto the walkway. I think there's the old remains of a lamp post or something through here. There it is, look. It looks like one, doesn't it? Old sleeper next to it as well. Well, there's a few old sleepers. A bit sat around here, isn't there? It's definitely been a worthwhile visit. It really has. So I'm probably about a third of the way through this abandoned yard section. There's more sleepers through there. Stacked up exactly the same way as the others. Still pretty much nothing on my left hand side. Through the trees look there's another huge huge yard light. And just beyond the yard light, which is just just there look. There are more sleepers. Right, so I'm almost parallel with the shed. That's just a little way over there. I've probably got about another 100 metres or so. We've got the great embankment up there. How many like railway enthusiasts have been up there, sat in a deck chair, walked past it, come as a child and just looked at this. Spent many an hour taking photos, looking at numbers. Got the binoculars out. I used to get the binoculars out when I was in my mid-teens. There's some memories there. I think it's time to fire up the drone and have a better look at what's around and I'll see you at the other end of these trees. And there's the third yard lamp we've come across that we can see the foundations but it appears that this has been dropped down so I imagine that these circular units they used to come down for maintenance purposes. Is that what used to happen? Because it appears that it's absent from up top. So I'm out in the open expanse now, look, and there's foundations to something and a load of fly tipping, unfortunately. There's a load of old wooden posts here, look. Anything to do with signalling, maybe? I believe there was also a former wagon hump here somewhere. There's more foundations just there, look, and a pile of ballast. We're much closer to the railway lines now. And I'll point out that all the drone flying I've done today has been the adequate distance away from the line 
as you'll see none of it has been directly over or almost on top of it so i think we're almost at a completion of our journey today there's some old fence posts just there look but this is pretty much going to take us out the other end at sandy acre if there's anything else to see i'll show you i've come up pretty close here look there's some points and some track and more points leading to out of use sidings just there look rusted up no use for a long long time on the other side of the fence I can remember back in the day that all the coal trains heading towards Ratcliffe and further south used to sit on all these sidings a long, long time ago. There was a period of time where they was actually all taken out of use, I think in the mid to late 90s. And then a few years later, it was all put back into use again. And then a few years later, it was all taken out of use again. Look at the old tannoy just there. I can't remember what they used to do, whether they used to shout out like notifications of when it was working or if it was just like a siren or a horn i don't know but that's pretty much it i do hope you've enjoyed this video it's been very interesting coming back here i grew up not far from here and it's been nice to actually discover some of the lost relics of this area which are no longer in use unfortunately if you like this video please subscribe there's more to come like this if you like abandoned railway yards too there's another video i'll put on at the end of this that you can click on as a look at the former colic yard in nottingham that i put on earlier on this year thank you to all channel members you can become one of those by clicking the join now link it'd be much appreciated let's get some more of these videos made thank you for all your support take care bye bye